is paternal oxytocin and oxymoron. Oxytocin, vasopressin, testosterone, ostradol, and cortisol in emerging fatherhood. How do hormone levels in men change from pregnancy to after the birth of their firstborn child? And what is their role in explaining the variation in parenting quality? Researchers Marion J. Bakersmans Cranenberg, Martin W. F. T. Verhees, Anna M. Lotz, Kim Alusefi Van Digic, and Marinus H. Van Igenstorn investigated. 75 expecting first time fathers and 79 new fathers collected saliva samples in the 36th week of pregnancy and again five weeks after birth. Father infant interactions were observed at two months old during 10 minutes of free play. Their interaction was videotaped and sensitivity was coded by looking to see when fathers picked up on their child's distress or interest in a specific toy and responding to that, and when they missed signals of disinterest or distress, and when they did or didn't interfere with the child's ongoing activities. The father's saliva samples were used to measure five hormone levels, oxytocin, vasopressin, testosterone, ostradol, and cortisol. The hormone levels were then compared separately to parental sensitivity. Then each pair was compared to parental sensitivity. Oxytocin was hypothesized to have an effect on parental sensitivity, either alone or while interacting with other hormones, but it did not. There was not enough prior research to predict how the other hormones would interact. From pre-birth to post-birth, oxytocin and ostradol levels were stable. Vasopressin, testosterone and cortisol levels all decreased. When each of the five hormone levels were individually compared to sensitive parenting, none showed significant correlation. In fathers with high oestradiol, high testosterone was associated with lower quality parenting interactions. Although no other hormonal levels predicted parental sensitivity, the authors suggest this may be due to limitations in the study, such as timing of tests or sample size. <laughs>